Okay, next we're learning this uh, key phrases, extract key phrases tool. So grab that Twitter data again. Nope, not that one, that one. Uh, next, let's go ahead and um, pre-process text. Oh, down here. Okay. Next, let's get a, um, actually no, let's just stop right there. Let's keep, um, Actually, launch column selector. Tell it which tell it which one to pre-process. None of these, just text. Great. Next, let's delete this out of there. And we collapse these guys. Let's grab. Extract key phrases from text. Okay, so pull pre-process into here. Now that's all cleaned up and ready to go. Let's tell it to grab. Well, we can't yet because we've got to first pre-process it. So um, let's continue with this custom regular expression. I think my problem before was I didn't actually need to put in those quotes. So look for AWS and change it to Amazon Web Services. Okay, run it. So while that's going, let me show you what this, the documentation on this one. So uh, pre-process text column and extract meaningful phrases. So this isn't looking for those named entities like organization, um, location, or person. Uh, a phrase can be either a single meaningful word or a compound of words. So this is gonna go through and be much more detailed in what it pulls out. Uh, however, it's not going to fit those extracted phrases into um, meaningful categories like person, organization, good. It's just going to identify what are these phrases in the first place. So this is important because, as I give you here, a phrase captures the topic of a sentence. A phrase contains a combination of, of modifier and noun that indicates sentiment. So rather than actually give you a sentiment score, like I was complaining, not really complaining, just identifying before that they didn't do that, we're again getting into the detailed words that are used to come up with that sentiment in the first place. So I think Microsoft's thinking is, well, why give you sentiment when we can do better than that and get down to individual key phrases, which will be more useful anyway. So here's some example. Uh, you could return something like wonderful hotel, friendly staff, or something like stupid program, you know, for both positive or negative phrases. So here's how we configure it. Uh, we add it in just like we did. Uh, specify the language. Great. So let's go back there and do that. So now we've got the ability to look at the pre-processed name of the column, which is pre-processed text. So let's get rid of everything except for that. We know it's in English, so let's go ahead and run that thing. Okay, while well, it's running back here, the documentation. So they've got some examples here you can take a look at. Um, I don't like their examples though, because they're reusing these uh, R scripts. And for now, I'm trying to stay away from that. You guys are going to get into that in the advanced class in the, in the next book. Uh, so I'll stay away from that for now. Let me just go ahead and show you the output. All right. Text column selection is null or empty. So what it's complaining about here, I'm glad that came up, is that some of our, when we pre-process the text, remember, we got rid of any URLs and email addresses. Well, some tweets, are all they are is a URL. So that means there's nothing left. So it's saying we, we can't have that. What we need then is a clean missing data pill. Great, pull that in, connect, connect. I'm gonna tell it here, well, obviously launch column selector. Uh, no, don't need all those. Just pre-process text. And then um, we're gonna look for, let's see, cleaning mode. Anything that's missing, let's just remove the entire row. Uh, because we're not going to all of a sudden predict what key phrases should be in there or predict what the text should be. So let's just remove the row. All right, now let's go ahead and run this guy, and we should be fine. I'll go ahead and pause it. So I'm still getting this uh, same error here. Text column selection is null or empty. Somehow my clean missing data is not, uh, is not working right. I wonder... Well, there's a couple things we can do to fix it. For now, I'm going to take off this pre-processed text altogether. 
and keep my clipping, keep my clean missing data. That means we have to change this though because we no longer have a pre-processed text column. It's just called text. And I'll worry about figuring out this problem later on. So change this one as well to text. And I'm pretty sure every one of those records has text in it. So uh, as long as we don't pre-process and take out some of those things, we should be okay. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so it worked this time. I think what must be happening is when we had that pre-processed text, it was getting rid of URLs and email addresses, but somehow leaving something um, behind that didn't appear as missing data, yet it couldn't be analyzed. It wasn't actual text. So I'll have to consider that issue later. But for now, let's just take a look at what we get back here. So visualize. All right, so here's the, the key phrases it pulled out, uh, always separated by commas, easy integration, Dynatrace, all that stuff. So here it gives us an idea of what we're going to pull out exactly from each one of these things. So what we could use this for uh, later on is, again, uh, we'll, we're going to learn a tool next that will uh, create a bunch of columns for all of these, basically, on whether or not it includes uh, uh, tweets include these key phrases or not. And we're going to see which of these lead to dependent variables, like whether or not it gets retweeted, whether or not it affects the sentiment or things like that. So let's stop this video right here for now.